But even as Senate leaders displayed leadership in the midst of crisis, leave it to Ted Cruz to find yet another opportunity for his trademark showmanship. Yes, right as Senator McConnell took the podium on the Senate floor, Mr Cruz engaged in delivering a right royal middle finger to the minority leader, staging his own impromptu presser for a horde of baying reporters. I have no objections to the timing of this vote, and the reason is simple. There's nothing to be gained from delaying this vote one day or two days. The outcome will be the same. Translation, His Majesty has issued the decree that he shall in no wise intervene on this day to further injure the United States and the global economy. The citizens are most grateful for his kind degree and wish him Godspeed. Oh, by the way, Cruz still thinks this is a win, sort of. And that was a remarkable victory to see the House engage in a profile in courage. Unfortunately, the Senate chose not to follow the House. A profile in courage? Really? Is he actually referring to the beleaguered House Speaker there? The one who has admitted he'll be forced to rely on democratic votes to pass the deal, a humiliating defeat and a total collapse of GOP efforts to punish the President and his health care law? Indeed, we may see tears from Speaker Boehner yet today, because if this deal passes, the entire Republican hostage-taking shutdown fiasco amounts to less than zero. The Affordable Care Act will not be delayed or defunded. The medical device tax will not be repealed. Subsidies will not be taken away from congressional staffers. The big win for Republicans is forcing the convening of a budget committee something Democrats have been demanding since March. And besides, Republicans plunging poll numbers, the big loss, really, is for the American people.